Hello and welcome to another clown reaction video from me, Barnaby, from Clown Spirit, where we take the power of clown to bring joy, lightness and connection to your life and the lives of everybody around you. So if you haven't hit subscribe already, please do so now. Subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification button, the little bell that comes up after you hit subscribe so that we can let you know whenever there's a new clown video that comes up. And every week I do clown conversations with leaders from the clown world every Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. in the UK, depending where you are. But every week I interview another amazing clown artist, teacher, performer uh, from around the world. And uh, yeah, you can join in, you can watch those. They're broadcast live on YouTube. And if you are a subscriber, you will get automatically notified about those every single week. So this week I'm going to be reacting to a Chinese clown duo who I've never seen before. I don't know what they're called or anything about them. It's a YouTube clip that somebody sent to me. It's from 1959, allegedly, and it's uh, maybe the Chinese State Circus or, uh, uh, you know, it looks like um, a very big circus from what I can tell. And these Chinese clowns are pretty amazing. I've never seen this before until today. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. It's super short. Uh, so let's get into it and have a look. So I'm going to take that back to the beginning because it was so short. I think we can look at it again and stop it a few times and really notice what's going on because there's lots of really amazing things happening here in a very short space of time. It's beautifully paced and it, you know, it's just so perfect and so lovely. The building of the rhythm and the pace to that, to that kind of uh, cut off point fix at the end and then the lovely little kind of flourish kind of uh, conclusion at the end when they both sit down. We'll try to sit down. So let's take it right back to the beginning and see what happens. So there's a beautiful setup here. Let's have a look at the setup. So, so we can see here that that you know the clown establishes himself as the kind of inappropriate one right they set up a chair in front right in front of an audience member ostensibly to watch the action but um the audience member gets up and asks them to move maybe that's a plant or or not who knows but it's just kind of establishing there that they're a clown that they're a comic performer they do things wrong and we all know where we're, where we are with that and then he takes the chair and we see the other clown coming in and looking at the chair in, in a sort of like, oh, I'm interested in that kind of way. And then we, we come back to the first. Obviously, the audience would be seeing this all at once. But we, we just kind of 
cutting back and forth. We see the blue clown um, bringing the chair centre stage and bringing out the rag. Very simple signifier, you know, rubbing the chair to make it clean. He's establishing that he it's his chair, that he's very happy with it, that he wants to sit down. And there's a kind of sense of like, um, you know, rightness about this. And also just want to make a quick note, a side note about their costumes, right? They're, they're not clownish over the top costumes. There's no makeup, there's no big shoes or anything, any of that kind. It's super simple. Um, now in the context, they, they might have had a particular significance. It's hard to say. Maybe they're a little bit unusual within, within the context so that they're immediately kind of standing outside of their normal within their context, uh, therefore kind of reading as uh, clowns. But I think still pretty simple here. So we're not getting a lot of um, the kind of traditional Western uh, image of the clown, of circus clown. This is something quite different. All right. So we've had the setup. Now we move to the first gag. We haven't really had a gag yet. Now, gag number one, very, very simple. OK, it's set, but it sets up in motion the whole thing. It's basically it's all a sequence of the same thing and done in more complex ways. One clown pulls the chair out from underneath the other one, literally. And the blue clown is usually the blue clown who seems to be the the idiot out of the two. If there is one, it's a bit lower status. He, he, he ends on the floor and kind of looks surprised and shocked at the other one a little bit wronged. And the red clown is kind of looking happy and satisfied with himself. Again, very simple, but very important. The way he sits down with his legs folded and just like a... <sighs> ah, now the blue clown sits down. So so the blue clown kicks the, the red clown off. Let's just watch this. Pushes him off with the leg and sits down and he thinks he's won. So here we have a great example of a, of a complication, right? Of a repetition with some complication. So it's that lovely move where he does a forward roll and the red clown's just watching and he comes right back and sits on the chair again. And the red clown's like, what? So this time he does the same thing again, but moves the chair. So we have a kind of integration of the two previous things of the moving the chair and him sitting on the floor and then uh, integrating that with this forward roll and back roll and sitting back on the chair. Now the chair's not there. And again, we have this lovely expression, right? So clowny, this expression. I love it. The, the surprise and shock. Where did the chair go? Very clear. And then for, for a little flourish, he does an extra little sort of push and a kick of the other clown and just to get him a little bit further away from the chair. Now he, I consider the chair, but look how now he's poised. It's almost like a martial arts thing, right? He's poised with his with his weight over or slightly forward on his feet. So he's kind of sitting on the chair, but not really. And he's ready, waiting for the next move from the other clown. And of course, there's a double reason for that. Partly, it's because he wants to project this idea that he's ready. Uh, and it's like a battle now. But also, the move they're about to do requires him to, to have that really strong base and center, because he's basically going to take the foot of the other clown and give him a backflip. So it's quite a uh, acrobatic thing there. And he sits up on the back of the chair. Beautiful little flip down. These are all such wonderful moves. <laughs> and, <laughs> and in a way, what they're playing at is finding the moves to get the other person off the chair in a way that is kind of a little bit um, awkward or embarrassing for the other one. So when he picks up the, the, the blue clown, picks up the red clown's foot and pulls him, then there's this little hop, 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 which kind of is a, almost like a, a, you know, an embarrassing sort of position to be put in. And he plays that as such. <laughs> and now it really feels like a battle, right? There's a little bit of circling. It's almost like a, like a martial arts Aikido competition here over the chair. This is like clown Aikido. There's a little bit of circling, a little bit of, um, you know, Head games here. Who's going to win? What's the next move going to be? He even, he even does this. 
Oh, and now a very quick sequence of moves that doesn't stop. There's a flip. There's a pull off the chair. There's a little pause there, right? So there's a kind of a sequence of moves and then a little pause just for us to catch our breath. And now it doesn't stop till the end. It's a non-stop sequence which builds and gets faster. We think each one has won and then it turns out he hasn't over and over and over again. So that build towards that little sequence at the end of about 10 or 20 seconds there, where there's just non-stop kicking, kicking the chair out back and forth. You think one is one of them's won and they haven't. And then it ends beautifully timed with the two of them sitting on their butts right there with the legs stuck out in a, in a sort of full stop moment. They look at each other, they go and get the chair and come back. And you can feel that there's kind of a, a denouement, a kind of conclusion that has to happen. They both try and sit down. And then one of them has the idea, let's split it in half. And again, it's all playing with expectations, right? All the way through the piece, we think one of them has got the upper hand and it turns out they haven't. Now, it seems as though the two of them have agreed uh, to dis well, agreed to share the chair, right? But then as the final twist in the tale, somebody else comes and pulls the chair away. And so this, this is very interesting because what's happening here, right, is that the clowns right at the end ideologically are in a way we're being told that both the clowns are, uh, are need to be punished there's a sense of this is not right behavior so we can enjoy it for a while but then we're told very clearly at the end that this is not how we should be this is silly this is childish and uh, when the other uh, character performer comes on and takes the chair away and they both end up kind of flat on their asses uh, losing if you like so neither of them wins in the end so take what you want from that i hope that was interesting to you it certainly was for me it's such a neat and clean piece of work it's really really fun to watch thank you so much for being here for another clown reaction video if you enjoyed it please give it a like share it with a friend but most importantly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you can always be in touch with us as we produce new videos thank you so much have a great day and keep clowning.